Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I speak about uh, some practical parallel compression uh, techniques in mushroom that nobody will tell you about. So before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmustering.com and uh, receive 50% off your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's get started. <laughs> Parallel uh, compression is a powerful weapon used by many mushroom engineers. It is a great way of enhancing the mix while maintaining punch and thicken up the sound or bring up details without sacrificing transient information. Some history. Parallel compression was developed in uh, classical recording circles as an alternative means of applying compression. The idea was to achieve a compression that to some extent reversed the usual logic of applying gain reduction, and the solution was to patch the compressor in a different way, splitting the signal into two parallel paths, one with and one without compression, with the resulting effect formed from a blend of the compressed and the uncompressed outputs. Nowadays, the simplest way to implement this in your door is to use a wet dry control, which is becoming common in more and more uh, plugins, uh, sometimes labeled mix or even parallel. This allows you to mix between the wet processed and uh, dry unprocessed signals. Now let me show you two practical techniques. One is for classical music mastering and the second one is for pop music mastering. So first, a parallel compression for classical music. As for the classical music mastering, you need to set up a low threshold so that the compressor tends to stay in gain reduction for most of the time with the soft ratio 2 to 1 or below, the compressor should contribute most to the overall output during the quieter passages of music. As the track gets louder, gain reduction starts to be applied even more substantially to a point at which the compressor's contribution to the overall program level is of no importance. Compression applied in this way produces a far more transparent and musical effect than uh, traditional compression. Now let's AB this track with this type of compression and uh, setting off and on. Parallel compression for pop music. Here's a slightly different technique. Again, the powerful concept is a blended uh, compression having both compressed and uncompressed version as a part of the same output. The aim is to add the intensity of compression but without any damage to the transient energy in the mix. In this case, it is important not to be subtle and to really attack the transients in the mix. A good setting, therefore, would be 4 to 1 ratio with a fast attack and a medium release. You should aim for some deliberate transient reduction 
a good dose of additional level and uh, release time that uh, restores itself across the bit. The compression techniques is a module enhancing tool for pop music. Now let's say be this a track with this type of uh, compression and sent it setting um, off and on. 